we're doing a call-in show and we didn't forget to put it at the bottom. <laughs> and I didn't forget to open the website so the calls will come through. Ooh, Excellent. good job. Oh, We've actually shit. got a call-in show today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a show, folks. It's a show, folks. But uh, not only do we have call-ins, we got a bunch of other shit. Uh, I saw some people asking in the comment section, is, is Frank going to be here? Obviously not. Frank's still on hiatus. Uh, you know, he'll, he'll be back when he's fucking ready. He'll be back when he's fucking ready. But in the meantime, I'm going to help, uh, you know, keep this shit fucking rolling. Lazy. Yeah. <laughs> fucking lazy goddamn bastard. Lazy piece of shit. Yeah, but... Uh, Out you know, here beating his wife instead of being on the stream. Oh, of course. Fucking Frank. Jesus fucking Christ. Him and son of a bitch. That goddamn... You know, there's going to be at least one fucking person who's just like... Who doesn't get the fucking context of the joke and they're like, what? What's going on here? <laughs> like, well, yeah, that's yeah. how it always goes, uh, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, for sure. Like I, I don't I don't know how many times in the last two weeks we've made like the low IQ reference and someone was like, Hey, what the fuck? Yeah, it's like wait a minute. <laughs> uh, you gotta go back and watch the fucking Corky stream. Sorry, I don't know what to tell you. Fucking Corky. He's been on something lately. Look, this is just one of those shows where you need to kind of like get some context before you really get the entire joke. Like <laughs> so uh let's see here. Uh, by okay. the way, fuck you, Bran. I saw the old stream hmm. earlier, and you mentioned Sweet Lightning, so my ass ended up getting KFC for dinner. It's your fault. My oh. bad. I'm All I was saying was, I was telling Rev if he was going to get his ass beat over a uh, fast food Mountain Dew, go Sweet Lightning. Yeah, so for real. Superior to Baja so Blast. Oh my god. 100%, dude. Um, so... We, we, you know, we have our call as always. You guys come in and uh, give your two cents on the topics. Where are we talking about? But as always, we have the topics themselves. And it seems like whenever I don't have, like, jack shit and I have to, like, scramble to really get some content, I find some of the best fucking shit or someone else finds some of the best fucking shit and they submit it to me. And this is one of those cases because this video right here, I only watched, like, three minutes of it. Dude, this is, like, genuinely goddamn gold. Um, it's a call out that G-Man made. Actually, in like uh, mid March, this is actually a, a little bit old, but apparently you haven't seen it yet. And he talks about the geek room in, in right. great detail. It's basically like a twenty minute video about the geek room. So, uh, well, it's, it's and it's mostly about Frank because you were like, "Is this new?" And I was like, "I don't think I've ever seen it." So I asked Frank, and I think he's seen it, but he said he doesn't think we've uh, we've we've watched it on the show. All right, cool, cool. Either way, it'll probably be new to some fucking people. So let's take a look at this shit. <laughs> look at Disney Gary. <laughs> I know, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. It's adorable. If only uh yeah, if only we like that in real life, maybe it'd be more endearing. Right? Hmm. YouTube channel with today. This Gary um, definitely doesn't get hit by as many cars. With, um, oh for sure. Here. Oh my god. I, I thought I, I'm so fucking goddamn high already. I thought I was doing that. I was like, I'm not moving my hands. I'm not moving my fucking hands. Like you saw that shit, right? Like I'm not moving my goddamn hands. Jesus Christ, that fucking freaked me out. Uh can someone please put some WD forty on their chair? Oh my God, Wilson! I hear the. <laughs> Thank I you love you too, bucks. Wilson. Thank you for the two fucking mm -hmm. bucks. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ! A conversation with um a certain individual in here, and his name happens to be Frank. Squeaky yeah. Will, that's the grease. So to me, as Frank. So before anybody gets mad at me, it was him who introduced himself with that name. Okay, so that's the first weird thing. He acts like he's doing something controversial by calling him Frank. When has he ever been like, yeah, don't call me Frank. Uh, it's like, never? Uh, never. <laughs> we all call him Frank. We just called him Frank when we were, like, talking about him earlier. Nobody calls him, like, Crude AF. Like, they refer to his channel, like, when as that. But, like, people just call him fucking Frank. Nah, bro. Gary just totally doxed Frank here. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Shit. Gary, uh, Lamont, I don't know. What you want me to call you? <laughs> Stop doxing Frank. <laughs> Is that a mango laugh I keep hearing? What's up, dude? Yes, Monty. Hi, Monty. What up, Monty? Hell yeah. Woo! If you have a problem with me using that name, please make a YouTube video and request that I never do it again. And like a good YouTuber, I will. never do it again. But he was... He's just trying to like make a point here, like, because he doesn't like people calling him Gary. Even Probably. Though he, even though he made that public well, and he's like, continues to make that public and call himself that. He made his middle name public. He made his last name public. He, he, he pulled a Jason. He just yeah. gave it all out. Yeah, I don't even go around and, like, say his last name, but he put that information out there himself multiple times. So, like, you know, even though I'll have the common courtesy and not go around and repeat it, like, I don't know what to fucking say at that point, man. Like, you, 
you put out your full fucking name and uh, thank you for the two dollars, Mo. Um, I don't know the fuck. I don't know the fuck that person could possibly be, but thank you for the two dollars. Ah, uh, that um, middle name sounds familiar. I think he called into the atheist experience one time. You know, I'm pretty sure he did. Hmm. hmm. I wonder. You know, I yeah, think he called in under Lamont instead of Gary. That guy sounded a lot like Both. someone I know, like a lot like someone I know. It's almost like they weren't even trying to make the, you know, distinction like, like they were a different it's, person. It's funny because he used to call in under uh, Gary or G-Man and then they stopped taking his call. So he changed his name. <laughs> he kept going by Lamont. He went he by that for like two months. Name. Like he was too lazy to even come up with a new one. So he just used another part of like another actual name. Like, yeah, say hey, your name is John Doe for fuck's sake. You goddamn idiot. Like. <sighs> G-Man is like legitimately unhinged. One of the most unhinged people we talk about. And he still has had his, like his channels after all this time. Yeah. Like, has he actually lost a channel? Has G-Man he, ever actually he lost? He has yeah. lost a channel. He lost a channel due to uh, threats. Of violence against trans individuals. Was Do you know March, which channel that God? was? That was his main channel, actually, his G Man channel. Wait, the G Man channel is no longer around? Yeah, that's the wow. one that he lost. Uh, okay. He's currently uh, under G Money, which he renamed <gasps> to Sowing and Reaping. What, what, what the fuck happened to like GTV Network? Yeah. Oh, is that gone too? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Because, because, like, there was a point where he had three channels at one point. There was the main channel. Yeah, Lucifer's G right. Uh, GTV was the one that he lost to. Oh, threat. okay. Uh, G Man, right. he privated himself. Oh, to okay. avoid people trying to like make copyright claims because he was still like drag videos. He was videos so and proud stuff. of like that 10k dead subscriber count that he had. Of he course, was so proud of that. Why shit. wouldn't he be? So like, it's just I don't know. It just amazes me that he ran. With his tail between his legs, rather than just like not say fucked up shit that'll get you like taken off YouTube. Well, I mean, he wants to beat special needs kids whenever they hit him. So, yeah, pretty messed up shit. Like you're pretty messed up. Yeah. You're asking why is he holding up this dead channel? Well, it's not like he has a job that he can hold up and say, "Oh yeah, I'm proud of my job." Oh, true. Well, or a family. He he Where has he a job I'm proud of my family he has a job but he's working like three weeks on three weeks off now because he's not under vaccinated. the table shit too that's what i'm saying gary always works under the table because you know kind of to that second point i made he's dodging a certain something yeah yep yeah you have no fucking leg to stand on especially when you're like you're willing to provide more for fucking shanny's fat ass than your old fresh and blood it's not like he was go even going in with the perspective of, like, when most people donate to Shanny, they're just doing it so the kids will have a fucking meal to munch on, which is understandable. But That's like 13k sub-channel. 13k hater. Ooh. Oh, yeah, shit. Get it right. Well, I think it was, like, wasn't it, like, 13k at, like, its most? But I, I, I it went down over the years, like, right? I'm pretty sure he lost subscribers over time uh, on yeah. that channel, like. Because people stopped giving a shit. Like, once, you know, DP stopped fucking talking about him and they moved on to other shit. I don't know, maybe they talk about him these days. But, like, once the original cast stopped talking about him, like, a lot of people just stopped giving a shit. And, like, people didn't start caring about G-Man again on, on any level until, like, it seemed like this channel started picking up more frequency in its viewers and shit like that. And then people started caring a little bit more. But he's far past his prime, man. Like, it it seems yeah. like as soon as he started teaming up with Shani and Rev in the way that they are now, where he's providing everything True. for them, that's when people started to care again. It's funny because, like, Shani leeches off G-Man monetarily, but, like, G-Man leeches off Shani for relevance because she's just so terrible, like a train wreck that we can't, like, all turn away from. Well, it's and like... He, he keeps himself I think, relevant. Like, I think a way. part of Gary honestly thinks, like, he's owning the trolls by keeping Shani and Riv like not starving and homeless. I think you're right actually. I never even like yeah. looked at it from that perspective, but I genuinely do think that there, there's a kernel of truth to that in the very He said least. certain things in the past that kind of led me to believe that this was a thing like he'll he'll just say certain things that uh the quote unquote trolls are saying are going to happen and just laugh about it maniacally and it's just like you're the only thing stopping a lot of these things from happening. And the uh, fact that he brags about the fact that he provides food for them, like, company was good, food was good, 
Oh, Everything was good. Right? <laughs> that was, that awful. was great. Yeah. So you supplement them when they run out of food stamps. Good job. Good for you. Oh yeah, you accomplished so much. You introduced yourself to me as that. He has a YouTube channel, by the way, that you guys should go subscribe to if you're interested in the kind of garbage that he puts on YouTube. It's called The Geek Room, and he also has another channel called um, Fuck Ooh, Yeah. Um, CR or whatever you want to call it, because I'm not gonna. He legit just gave Frank a shout out, like what? unironically. Oh, so by the way, the geek room. You, like, we gotta make that a fucking super drop or something. Gary saying sub to TGR. <laughs> okay, so you want to know the craziest thing about this? It's like a, a little bit of spoilers, I guess. Because you, 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 you know that fucking that 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 joke and that thing that some dumbasses actually fucking believe about Frank fucking beating his wife. So. <laughs> So Frank, so so G Man keeps talking like positively about Frank, how he's the fucking best of us, the brightest of us. He genuinely believes that Frank beats his wife. He genuinely and, yes. believes that Frank that, beats his wife. That blows like, my mind so much. He genuinely. Yeah, believes he says he says he believes in in like one f like breath in this video. He mentions that he believes Frank beats his wife. And also says that he's the smartest member of TGR mm -hmm. uh, and dude. the brains behind the operation. Dude, what uh, if that's the reason why he thinks that, like, Frank is the best of us? Like, what if that's the actual reason? Just because he believes that bullshit rumor, like, that's the reason that puts Frank so, above all the so, rest so of us. So, because yeah. Frank beats his wife, that means that he's better than everyone else because Yeah, he, because in G-Man's mind, in that's him having a backbone and a spine, I guess. Like, that, I just assume that's the logic going. Gary's his jealous mind. that uh -huh. his, yeah, his old yeah. lady took off and he can't lay the smack down on her anymore. <laughs> right. He, he, yeah, definitely. Appropriate words, because he always thinks of everything like fucking wrestling. Right? That's one thing I've it, noticed about G-Man. Like. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you picked that up. Yeah, dude. No, I didn't know that was intentional. That's good, man. That, that, 100%. That, that, that's that so, has all right, to be. I don't man. go around saying that shit on the regular. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Fair enough. It's like weird choice of words. Oh, okay, I can't. I guess. Say the way they see it. <laughs> You know, children might see this. You know what I mean? But um, and, and I, I actually care about what children actually listen to. So um, <clears throat> yeah, I know that sounds a little hypocritical, but you know, I don't make blow up videos all the time. You know what I mean? But um, and if you're wondering why this why this is dark, it's because I don't really want to reveal the location, where I'm at, and all that other stuff, and whatnot. Even though I'm a Philly border, right? <laughs> the ju juxtaposition of that with this fucking Disney character is just amazing. <laughs> the, guy, <right? laughs> the guy, um, the guy who threatens to uh, harm and even uh end people uh based on their gender identities is talking now about how he cares what the children see and hear from oh, youtube yeah he he cares about that but you know as long as they're special needs they don't matter because he can just beat them into submission right and they're all fine i mean as long as they're christian they're not starving for example so. uh, exactly i mean show me a starving christian child i mean show me jesus fucking christ <laughs> frank i want to tell you a story frank i want you to bear with me a little bit okay because you need a reality check, dude. Just, just bear with me here for a moment. This is going to be boring to you in the beginning, but I promise you. I promise to speed up my language. I'm speed, I speed up my words and talk the way you're used to me talking. All right? So here we go. Once upon a time, there was a YouTuber by the name of G-Man. In fact, he wasn't even called G-Man. He was called XXO054. He decided to make it. What a great username, dude. Like, oh, yeah. Brilliant. I feel like that really does represent all of G-Man's creativity. The fact that that was actually his username at some point in time. The fact that you can still look that up on YouTube and find him. Yep, exactly. That's the best fucking part. Cause like back, cause that's one of the U old YouTube channels. So like they always have that old URL, whether people want them or not, which I think is fucking bullshit. Uh, you can always look people up by that old URL, and it leads to some very uh, embarrassing situations. Did he say that. his name was Kiss Kiss Hug Hug Five Thousand? Yes, yeah. yes, he did. He yeah. did. Sweet. Oh, yeah. I love wait. it, Gary. Brief pause. Uh, Lizard brought up something. Uh, uh, um, let me see. Let me see this shit. Uh, yes. Uh, our Ukraine fundraiser that we've been doing, we did hit our $1,000 goal. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. That's and amazing. as of right now, for every $100 extra we hit, Lizard and I will be eating a Cobes beer egg. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, yes, mm -hmm. you can still donate, and for every $100 over, we will be eating a Cobes beer egg. They're going to destroy their intestines for you. Yeah, for, it goes for you all. And, and the and the good fucking people of Ukraine as well. Yes, we yes, are already, you payment. know, supposed to eat the Mountain Dew egg because of TIE Fighter Jet. The Mountain Dew egg? Uh, yes, the egg hard-boiled in Mountain Dew. 
Yes, we have what to do that. What the fuck is Cobes' problem? <laughs> like We have to eat the Cobes potted meat nachos that are microwaved with bacon and ranch dressing on them. Yes. And we have to eat the spam cookies. So if y'all keep donating, we will have to eat spam, fucking beer spam, eggs because we cookies? hate ourselves. What the fuck is a spam cookie? It's a cookie that is baked with spam no, in it's the not. middle. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's not what it is. Yes, it is. Oh, my God. You know what? I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> it, that's what's up. <laughs> Woo! All right, folks. I have yeah. eaten 14 fucking spam cookies trying to make this recipe. I take this seriously, and I I'm, hate myself, and we're going to do this. Hi. I'm continuing on with the video. Uh, but uh, no, seriously, go and support the fucking... Go and support uh, the lizard, the good old lizard, and uh, their amazing fucking efforts to support the good old people of Ukraine. Oh, yeah. Lost. And he decided that he wanted to preach the gospel on YouTube after spending all this time outdoors, um, you know, uh, preaching evangelism. And, you know, I, I got introduced... I mean, I'm sorry. G-Man got introduced... Well, XX0054, uh, a.k.a. G-Man, got introduced to what was known as the Great Debate Community, and, and he got involved in it, you know what I mean, made some hangouts, uh, changed the community in a sense, uh, got people... Uh, threatened to kill some people's Ow. sledgehammers, threatened to kill some trans people, you know, you know kind of left out that part, but <laughs> whatever. How, I guess. how did how did a guy who was widely viewed as a absolute joke change a community? I, I, I'm a little lost here. I hope he's going to elaborate. No, he won't talking about key topics we wasn't talking about whose feet were bigger we wasn't talking about who was funnier we wasn't making fun of people and you know in this immature nonsense that we see today we we're actually talking about real life stuff with real life consequences you're literally making a video right now accusing someone for no reason with no evidence of, of spousal abuse yeah and he acts like Hello that's here. like he acts like that's not even a reason to be outraged at someone like he just makes this assumption as if it's true and then he's just, he doesn't even care about it that's the crazy thing and a lot of people were positively affected by it. Some people were negatively affected by it, but can't please everyone, right? But the point of the matter is, is that this content was made. Ooh. This content was made. And many, many people, uh, atheists, Muslim people, were like, oh, got mad and upset at me. I mean, sorry, at Gmail, X -X slash XX0054. Oh, my God. Why is he talking like this? <laughs> oh, kiss, kiss, hug, hug, fog 40. Not, not Gary. Not Lamont. No. He, like, he, he is so bad at like calling himself like in the third person. Like he can't do it. So why even fucking yeah. bother? Kiss kiss hug hug five thousand forty two was like two vehicular incidents ago. Oh man! Yeah, yeah. Decided to make slander videos. Get upset at him. I'm not talking about you yet. You don't even exist yet. I don't even know what, what part of the world you was in uh, until like four or five years ago. You know what I mean? But um, uh, you know, it, 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 he, he was doing his thing. How much do you want to bet he probably still thinks it's in the wrong location? <laughs> the amazing atheist wanted some of him. Dilla Hunty wanted some of him. I mean, come on, I'm talking about the real YouTubers. The people yeah, actually fuck Justin, powers, too. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, like, people like, uh, like Dilla Hunty, people like uh, the amazing atheist. J there he is, Matt Dilla Hunty and the amazing atheist. The only two people that G-Man ever thinks about, ever. Like, <laughs> other than Channy, I guess. I think he just listed the two reasons his channel actually made it to that 13K sub line. Exactly, yeah. Just a bunch of fans of those two people pointing and laughing all day. That's all it was. Jacqueline, Glenn, Thunderfoot, all of them wanted a piece. These people haven't been relevant <laughs> since 2016. What the fuck are you talking about? Thunderfoot? Fucking Thunderfoot? I haven't Thunderfoot. heard about Thunderfoot in so long. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I haven't heard about fucking Thunderfoot since the Brexit. I, the last time I heard about Thunderfoot was on DP when I was in admin for them and that was like what 2016 yeah back in the day like this shit is like literally gonna get to the point where it's like 10 year old shit and then g-man will still just be talking about it like non-stop like, it was just yesterday i don't know i don't know how because like that was like you know how some people peak in high school g-man peaked with the drunken peasants of all fucking things it's a lol cow like that yeah. was the height of his life like that's the thing that he's always going to try and go back and recapture because at least he had oh, fun but like much like Brett Keen, where he always brings up TJ. Yep. Because that was the height of his career, and he probably only got, like, $2,000 out of it, like, to be made fun of on, on like, a live stream. So, More than Gary got. Yeah, true, yeah, G-Man didn't get a goddamn dime, as far as I'm aware. Uh, nor does he no. deserve any. And now he's out a lot of silver yeah. in uh, iPods. Then one day, that guy 
made a decision that he was going to confront a certain YouTuber about their lifestyle and everything. And you know that YouTuber did it and everything and whatnot. And, these, and, her, and her friends were really angry and decided that they was going to viciously destroy xxo 540 k g man They wanted to destroy him. They wanted to just belittle him. They wanted to eradicate him. Oh, now they're the same they, person. They would make stuff up out of thin air. They would have... Yeah, he keeps going back and forth like every single time he brings it up. Like whether or not it's him or supposed to be like a character... It's like you just explained it's your old username. Like he doesn't even try and like come up with a new name, like Jerry. Like let's call this person Jerry or some shit. <laughs> like come on, dude. They would break the law. They would do a bunch of different things just to take out or to shame or to humble XX0054, aka. Uh, Jesus Christ! Are you seeing what I'm seeing here? What's in up fuck, in the fucking comments oh, section? This one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, not that one. <laughs> no, Steve McRae. Steve McRae manager. What the oh, fuck is that, this shit? This, this one? Yeah, what the fuck? What is this all about? I don't get the joke. I, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Is there, is there a follow-up here? Yeah, there's a follow-up here. Are you actually <laughs> Steve McRae's manager? I wouldn't be that fucking surprised at this point. Like, I don't know what you're on about, so... Hey. G-Man. You like the story so far because it's about to come to its conclusion or it's about to be stopped and it will conclude because the story has not ended yet. But <laughs> what? Wait, what? 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 It's about to come it's to its, its conclusion. See, it's I, I, about I, I, to stop because the story hasn't ended yet. Can we hear that one more time? One second. I4, AKA G-Man. You like the story so far because it's about to come to its conclusion or it's about to be stopped and it will conclude because the story has not ended yet. But. <laughs> What? Dude, that's the most word salad I've ever heard in my entire fucking life, dude. He literally, like, he said it's about to come to an end three different ways, and then <laughs> said it's not going to come to an end. <laughs> he doesn't think before he speaks. Like like I said, he has no goddamn filter, just like Jason. He has no filter. He just says whatever the fuck's on his mind. The point of the matter is, this is where you come in, sir. You see, XX0054, a.k.a. G-Man, went on your YouTube channel. Uh, the Geek Room, and when he was on the Geek Room, you had guests on there, and you decided to make up a lot of stuff out of thin air about him. You never gave him a proper opportunity to defend himself. You never gave him an opportunity to finish a sentence. Oh, you bullshit. Him an opportunity talk over talk everyone all the time. Yeah, and, like, he's fucking one to talk in general. Like, whenever he has anyone on who disagrees, he instantly mutes them, talks over them, does anything he can do to fucking silence them and their opinions, because he has no... He's only... <laughs> He only, like, talks with someone of a different opinion when he's literally fucking forced to, when he's put on, like, a platform well, like this, like, you know? That's why he's upset. He's upset because he wasn't in, in on his channel, and he couldn't do that. He couldn't just True. mute people and kick them out. He actually had to listen and hear other people out, regardless of whether he actually listened. Uh, he actually had to pretend to be involved in a conversation. And, and that's why I didn't like it. He hasn't had to do that in a very long time either because he doesn't get invited on shows anymore, rightfully so, because no one wants to talk about someone who literally threatened to fucking beat the fuck out of people just because they have a lifestyle that you don't fucking like. Um, anyway, Mo $5. If that were the real Steve McRae manager, they'd be complimenting you about being a solid eight while bragging about your ability to score. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mel. I appreciate the five macaroonies. Uh, you convinced an entire kid. You, you, invent, you convinced every troll you could probably you could possibly find into believing these lies about this person. I mean, one of the things that you wrongly believe about XX0054, aka G Man, is that he's this four foot nothing musculate. <laughs> musculate? <laughs> what does that mean, G Man? The about XX0054, aka G Man, is that he's this four foot nothing musculate that doesn't have no muscles never accomplish anything and all the well muscular. apparently musculate means you don't have any muscle what? <laughs> <laughs> so so musculate is the opposite of muscular i'm gonna start calling him a musculate now i'm gonna start calling him a musculate now you g-man you are a fucking musculate g-man i swear to god look at this little musculate this fucker here on the screen <laughs> Jesus Christ. This especially this picture of him does look like a musculate, whatever the fuck that's supposed to be. <laughs> I swear to God. Gary dude. is the first musculate. Goddamn musculate. In recorded history. It, no, it does sound like an actual fucking insult though. So yeah, you're a musculate now. It man. Does. Yeah, he, he's a musculate. He <laughs> kind of packs that punch. Like yeah, it does, this, yeah. is, this is an insult. <laughs> yep. All right, there you go, folks. Right. So you guys go out there. I'm gonna like 
Oh my god. I don't know if we can do this, but I, I want to make like Frank will probably be on board. I want to make like a face of a G Man. I want to do like one of my Photoshop faces of G Man. I'll make it look as hammy and ridiculous as possible. We'll put it on a shirt and then we'll just put like musculate. <laughs> we'll just put like I would all... buy that shirt in a heartbeat. We'll just put oh like a bold letters, like just musculate under there. And like. <laughs> <laughs> no, people wouldn't buy that shit. People wouldn't buy that fucking shit. They wouldn't, though. They wouldn't Mo buy that. Moe's giving us a, a definition here of musculate for $2. Musculate. Man who uses nipples for night vision. <laughs> yeah, let me just like toggle it. on my night vision nipples real fast, dude. <laughs> Woo! Uh, yeah, Grampy. You're, I mean, Grampy, if you want the fucking link, you, you, just, you can just come in here. But, like, yeah, yeah. you can also call in the, the numbers down yeah. there. Let me know what you want to do, man. Seven one oh, nine love to have two Grampy four, here. five yeah, one four seven. Call us and say wacky things, and we'll respond. Give us some of that wackity smackity do, dude. About it, uh, ba -da, ba -da -da -da. Now back so, to this musculate. Yeah, I'm gonna take us to like five minutes, and then we're gonna watch some other shit, and then we might come back to this because there's more gold to be had. Um, <laughs> and, and and you made up all of this stuff, and then th th that poor YouTuber only wanted one thing. If you leave me alone, I promise there won't be any back okay. back. What do you do? You kept. I just want to say I'm gonna shoot a link to Grampy real fast. Doing it, and you kept doing it, and you kept doing it, forgetting how the internet works, forgetting how the internet never forgets, forgetting that what comes around goes it's, around. It's funny coming from this guy who uh, <laughs> deleted this video. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I actually did put that in the title. I didn't even bring that up when I was like explaining contest. Yeah, this is a lost G-Man video. He deleted this shit. Um. So he deleted it manually, right? This wasn't just like lost when he lost his channel. Oh, we're getting a oh, call. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're getting a call. Hell yeah. Call oh, from. Maybe. Well, what? fuck you too. All right. Okay, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe that was Grampy, uh, and he's just going to come in here with the actual link. All right, call in. But, okay, they're calling back. All right, maybe. Maybe someone else. Call from. Your mom is boyfriend. Um, <laughs> oh shit we better answer yo what up step peppy hey Stop listen it. uh can somebody get that girl some fucking oil so she stops squeaking <laughs> so and really irritating me I mean, for fuck's sake i mean somebody you're making I it mean, worse <laughs> look the geek room is a well-oiled machine so I don't she, know the fuck she needs some three-in-one oil or some Maybe some more alcohol. I don't know. Maybe some drugs. <laughs> um, oh, clearly. I can hear her squeak through the phone. <laughs> 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 that is amusing. Remember, Bran, I got to tell you, I don't know if you heard, but you guys shouldn't hang out with me because I'm violent and psychopathic and stuff. Yeah, that's one and of the, that's two of the reasons I hang out with you, though. Yeah, but but apparently you guys... I haven't found out the really bad stuff. So, oh shit, the well goes deeper. Uh, the well goes deeper. Wait, you're not an actual lobster? You're not? Holy shit. I don't I'm know. Sure. I'm so confused at this point. I, I thought I he know. had three penises. Like, what? He pisses out of his eyes. What's going on? Yeah, you know, you don't man, have to be a lobster to do making that. Fun of the way I urinate, man. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not making fun. I'm jealous. Oh, I wish God. I could piss out of my eyes. That'd be a great way to get out of uh, social situations I don't want to be a part of. So, yeah. Yeah, when I get you know, angry, I pee cause if I, people's faces. If, if I, I do angry. that, well, see, if I do that now, I, you know, I get put on, like, you know, sex offender lists and shit. But if I could just do it right out of my eye. Well, don't you want to do the sex offender shuffle? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that <laughs> shit before. Yeah, you. Right? I've seen that shit before. That's a classic. That's a certified hood classic right yeah. there. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Damn, somebody stop that squeaking, man. <laughs> almost like a squeaky bed. Hashtag stop like the squeaking. Yeah. sex. Yeah. Grampy's yeah. dark secrets came to life. That's right. Fuck. Oh, anyway. So do you want uh, the link, or are you just going to stay here on the phone with us, Grampy? Yeah, I, I did shoot you the link. I don't know. What do you want? Me. We'll, we'll, we'll want send you, you the link, Grampy. Yeah, come you in here me? if you want to come in here, man. man. I've got a fake sub with your oh, name on it. Shit, do you know? Ooh. Yeah, Grampy just can write his name in the snow three times simultaneously. Checkmate, motherfucker. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. 
But yeah, if you check anyway. Discord, I uh, I did shoot you a link. If you want to come in here and uh, be, you know, profit. Okay, so this whole call-in show has been pretty much a flop, <laughs> except for me and somebody else, a couple yeah. other people calling in periodically. <laughs> Thank God for Grampy. Yes, yeah. L- look, sometimes yeah. sometimes we get callers, sometimes we don't get callers. Yeah, we got shit to do. I used to love calling into radio shows and get like free stuff, like gift cards or you know, like. Gift We're, I'll give you a free musculat shirt, Grampy. How about that? <laughs> <Free shirt. laughs> <laughs> all right no who in the chat would honestly like raise your fucking hand if you buy a muscle a, uh, somebody should start a donation fund maybe a paypal pool so squeaky there can uh get some wd-40 or something i don't know um i don't know where the squeaking comes from but you might have to give an evaluation some sort of a medical um uh i'm a doctor kind of. <laughs> oh my god not that kind of doctor. Well, yeah, now you're being picky. You know, I mean, uh, <laughs> anyway. So, click the fucking you look, Grampy. Go click the fucking what? link. Why are Grampy, you on the phone? Grampy, just click the link. You can pick on me here. Yeah, you can hear the squeaking in real time and high definition. Oh, Jesus, audio. My other fucking phone's ringing. Ah, uh, Jesus, it's probably the fucking police. I gotta go. All right. Yep. <laughs> All right. Get. Woo. Two bucks from Mo, uh, muscular man offended by being called a biped. <laughs> what? Wait. Oh yeah, he was. He did, didn't he? He was offended by being oh, called a biped. He didn't Steve know. Steve McRae, manager. I'm aware of how terrible my laugh is. I just don't give a shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, don't be a fucking jerk. <laughs> um, baby wants it. Uh, are you saying that you Ooh. want in? Like and trash wants in. I, I would in? love to have trash in. Yeah. Oh. I'll, I'll send you a link right there's so much happening <laughs> call from hey brand oh jesus christ <laughs> this isn't gonna last very long go ahead hey there brand say the things until i, I say no more all right don't worry i i came prepared this time i'm wearing goggles <laughs> your urine spray won't affect me oh, fuck <laughs> I am now invincible. The only thing that could stop me is if somebody hung up. Nope, not gonna do it. Damn, I was Damn gonna it. put you on the spot. Come up. Yeah. With something. You thought I was gonna hang up on you, didn't you? What happened? Test of skill. Hey, what's up? Did you guys have a troll or something in there? Oh, no, yeah. no. Oh. That's uh, that's that's Brand's booty call. Yeah, just oh, that bought stalker. That's all. Because I wouldn't want any of my trolls and haters like coming in and interfering with your show. Hi, Sydney. Because apparently he watches you guys too. Um, because he Wait, who or, does? Sydney Winston. Um, yeah, he uh, yeah he was warning you and Miss Parker, you guys and Miss Parker about my evil, psychotic, violent side. And uh, yeah, um, yeah. So that's a thing. So I gotta I go just, check out Sydney Winston, huh? Oh, he's a winner. Find out all about you. Yeah. I don't think lobsters are capable of evil. Oh, he can be very violent. Oh, yeah. Who's calling? Let's see. Who could it be? Oh. Stinky watches this. Hey, how you doing, Solar? (laughs) Anna Duke. To accept, press one to send. I already accepted. What's up, Anna? Hi. I love that. Like, as soon as I open this thing up, I hear somebody making fun of your guest's laugh. You're a fucking asshole. I hope you get cancer. <laughs> wait, wait. Wow. Hard. That's really, that's hard. Wait, are you talking to, so are you talking to me? I've already got enough problems in my life. And now that you want me to. That was in the chat. It's like the first oh. thing you saw when I came in. I'm like, fuck, what the fuck? Fuck you. Who's oh. upset about the laugh? Oh, Steve McRae, manager. He doesn't like my laugh. Oh damn! I think it's cute. Go fuck it. Uh, oh. <laughs> that's cute. Yeah. You'll you'll have that from time to time. Whoa! Sounds like a Tin Man playing the skin flute. God, my <laughs> fucking god, the day for <laughs> Jesus Christ! Thank you. you know, for honestly, you that's probably not the worst she's heard. You know, um, I mean, I likened it to squeaky bed springs on a bed, like during, like oh. boom boom time. You know. Yeah, but Mend- yeah. Mendacious see one. Yeah, yeah. I think you're gonna make fun of somebody's laugh. Be like, or, you keep like, putting the fruit of the juicer. Squeakers and snorters, you know. You gotta come. You gotta come creative. Yeah. yeah. 
Exactly. That's all we're saying. She brings I something like to the table. Cool it rated. squeaks and everything, but she brings something. <laughs> to the squeaky table. <laughs> yeah. A squeaky wheel gets the grease. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you, you naively believe that you're the only person on here. And I'm just talking to you right now. I'll bring your friends up a little bit later. But oh, okay. I actually believe that you guys are the only ones that can get information. You guys naively believe that you're the only ones with friends on here. You guys naively believe that no atheists on YouTube like me or respected me. And you guys. Steve McRae doesn't count. Yeah. He's not a real atheist. Yeah, he clearly. Doesn't the, <laughs> he doesn't know the real definition. So, yeah. Yeah, he's not one. Still so working on it. Wasting your time trying to convince all these people. Yeah, that can we agree like you need to at least know the definition of something to be it? Like. Come on. Don't like this person. You think so. Which in your greatest power, which you've accomplished in the entire... Oh, shit. We got Trash. What up, Trash? Oh, hey, Trash. Welcome aboard. Echo. Hello. Can oh, you hear me? <laughs> Sorry. Woo. Okay. Streaming we are a very simple resource, people. Oh, what happened? There we go. Yeah, we had Echo for a little bit. That's all. Is this oh, working? No. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Sure yeah. It wasn't anything on your end. It was just... It's uh, working. No, that's fine. I just am using, like, my computer, and I have no idea where my microphone is because I just moved, and half my shit's still in boxes. So I just want to make oh. sure this doesn't sound like total dog shit. <laughs> no, you don't yeah. sound like total dog shit. I promise. No, Yay! Uh, I... Really, Cheshire likes G-Man, but, like, that's not, like, a good example, you know? Like, just like yeah. Medacious yeah. says, it says more about her than it does you, G-Man. <laughs> like, <laughs> come on, dude. Oh. She also doesn't couldn't figure out how to use a goddamn corkscrew, which I mean that's one of the most. Oh my god, kind of that, when that I watched video that, was so fucking embarrassing. When I when, the first time I ever bought one of those, okay, admittedly I had never used one. You know, I was like I said, I used it as like it was doing like jumping jacks. You know, I was like, oh look at this. But <laughs> when it was time, I was like, oh, you just screw it down and do, you know, poop like that. And I thought, wow, this is the fucking easiest goddamn corkscrew I've ever had. And uh, that, um, and then she, when she did it, it was <laughs> some people just have to make the easiest things hard. You was oh. gonna soak the squeak now? Uh, no, it's just Steve McRae, like oh, Steve McRae did. manager. Sorry, oh. uh, you know, <laughs> if people took issue with my laugh to the degree that you do, I wouldn't be invited on panels. Yeah, she's bringing shit to the table. Exactly. Yeah, as I said this before, despite the Steve, laugh, you know, I have something to say beyond that. I'm a bit yeah. Snarky. We don't know what that is, but she does bring stuff there, Steve McRae. God damn it, Grampy! Damn it, Grampy! Like, I heard I love it was you to stuff death. and things. To be honest, it is. Yeah, I've got to agree yeah. in both of them. She so. brings so many themes. All the themes. Um, Medacious, I'm not saying that out loud. Right, G T B, the I channel that exposed that. your reaction, people what you really are and that ain't nothing but a bunch of devils at the end of the day a bunch of immoral devils parker found out the hard way that the information that she was given was wrong then i can acquire information and i can uh, 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 go out there and do that you list one fucking example like miss parker always shows your fucking receipts when she talks about shit especially something serious what are you just gonna say like because like miss parker likes to play with g-man and like just fuck with him a little bit like you know just get, say sarcastic remarks because he's fucking stupid and he'll take the bait on anything She's probably just thinking of an example like that where she was like being coy or something like that. And uh, he, of course, takes it super literally because he takes everything super literally because he's a moron. I have a receipt from Burger King, King today. I guess it's Burger King. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. He's Burger King. Okay. And Miss Parker got exposed. Everybody knows she's a compulsive liar. Moving on. Because I really don't like that name on this channel. I heard she also has a penis, oh, yes, folks. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Receipts, G Man. Where's the fucking receipts? I'll see yeah. it when I believe it. I say that name. But the bottom line is, is that um, you, Frank, a little information comes out about you and what you do at home, and then you get mad and upset because somebody does it to you. But it is perfectly okay. You no, know, Gary. No. The difference being is that what we talk about on the show are videos that you and your cohorts have made and put out into public. public we talk yes. about those things. What you did Unedited. was right, correct, unedited. What you did, Gary, is you made something the fuck up out of thin air. With no evidence, no basis, and now you have started spreading that around. Ever yeah. since he got scared by that bear, it, he hasn't been the same. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play with me like that. Look, hey, the content pulling process for these shows is very simple. We go out and go onto the channels that you guys all put out there publicly on YouTube, and we pull the content from there. Sometimes we'll like have an unlisted or private video, but it was always something that you guys put out there yourselves publicly. Correct. Like, 
You know what I mean? So what the fuck do you expect when you put it out in that ether? You're expecting criticism. Hey, Grant, you should. Grant, since you guys like to make fun of yeah. old people, have you ever checked out <laughs> Mrs. Portland? I have no idea who that is. God, you need to check her out, Mrs. man. Portland. Oh, fuck. Now <laughs> she's Mrs. Biatch or some shit or the devil or something because uh, nobody likes her and stuff. But, yeah, she's a winner. I like how you phrased it, though. It's like, it makes it out like the geek room. Yeah, we're just looking in particular for fucking old people to rag on, dude. It's like, yeah. Well, it's like Lars Nathane is older abuse. I make fun, of, I make fun of old people. I mean, hey, yeah, I mean. Yeah. Fucking TGR. We are art. easy to make fun of, folks. I mean, let's just we, put it that way. Yeah. TGR brought to you by elder abuse. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, to the YouTube employee watching this, I want to clarify. This is just called satire. The jokes don't abuse your elders. Uh, okay. Hey, you mean there's not an actual organization dedicated to elder abuse? <laughs> well, I, I haven't heard of one yet. I mean, if, yet. If, if, if paid correctly and the right amount, I am willing to take all the abuse that um, <laughs> I mean, I'm well, not proud. Brought to you by, I have fallen and I it's can't. Everything's okay for you, man. Life alert, man! You get upset. Oh my God! Look at that, G man! Look at that, G man! <laughs> I love the little precocious one over here that you're pointing out right now. Look <laughs> yeah. at him. He looks so innocent and wide-eyed. Oh, the one above that though looks like a Make a Wish kid. That that kid looks like he's uh, asking to go to Disney World because he doesn't have very long. I don't. I don't want like that a, one. He wants a balloon and he wants a fucking juice box. Juice box which and a, I, I will bring him that balloon and that juice box. We will take him to Disney World. Look at him. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> not standing in line for six hours for Space Mountain. No, fuck that. <laughs> not for that kid. Fuck that kid. Yeah, I'll fuck that good. <laughs> he's, he's gonna somehow get hit by a roller coaster while you're there. You know that, right? Uh, yeah. You have a problem. I'm okay with that. And you need to see a professional about that. Typically, men who go around beating up their women, typically, these people don't have any self-esteem. I've been saying this about you for the longest. Not just you, just your friends too. You have no self-esteem, which is why you feel you need to put people down all the time. You don't edify, you don't build people up. I mean, I don't even like you, dude. And I believe you're the smartest person in the geek room. See, I said something positive about you. I believe that you're the smartest person on the Geek Room. I believe that this is directed to Frank, by the yeah, way. Yeah, but is that a high bar or a low bar that he yeah, low there? bars again? That, like, yeah, that wife beater is the smartest bunch of the all of them. You know, <laughs> I mean, like, that's the reason he has respect for Frank. At least you don't. At least he's not it. talking about that girl that only shows up sometimes. What's her name again? I'm just kidding. Who, who could that be? <laughs> I don't know. Huh. You're the I leader mean, of the people. Keep in mind, everybody always forgets. I believe the other people that you are associated with are nothing more than. Don't go on. <laughs> you can really do better, dude. Like, if I was your co host, like, I'm serious, dude. Like, if I was your co host. Can you imagine Frank and G Man hosting a podcast together? G Man would. That would be amazing. <laughs> Frank would never get a fucking word in. No, he wouldn't. No. And it would be hilarious to watch him just like face desk all the time yeah like you would learn just you would legit only get to see like frank's face reactions to all the stupid shit that g-man's saying it would like last one episode and then end instantly because there's no fucking reality in which that would work for more than one fucking stream it's like, like Jesus you, you could just see frank die the entire time and g-man just ramble i'd watch it Oh yeah, definitely. give Frank like the last two minutes. Yeah, <laughs> rude and nude. I would watch that. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> crude yeah, and nude. Rude, crude, and in the nude. Yeah, that's 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 gonna be Frank's new fucking channel. It's oh, naked man. and afraid, isn't it? Three, four people right now. Cuddling his little creatures that he keeps in his. Shouldn't be going around hitting, hitting women like that, dude. Really. Now you probably say, "Oh, Jamie, where's your proof for that?" And, and, and by the way, Frank, before you do it, listen to me. When I went on your channel, I knew you was gonna pay troll. Oh, really? Where's the proof I of that? Knew you was gonna pay yeah, it's just like moves on to a non sequitur. Now I like, know you're gonna say, "Where's the proof?" But Frank fuck doesn't that. pay anybody. He still owes me thirty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> you're, ne you're never gonna get that thirty. No shit, yeah, never. You, you bailed. Listen, you, you guys been doing the same thing for so long. Your duty. I don't care no more. Me and Thomas had a great laugh on y'all behalf. You know what I mean? Uh, more of us will laugh at you guys because it's obvious you guys have been doing this for too long for people not to figure out what you guys are all about at the end of the day. You ain't everybody. I mean, you laugh at wind chimes, man. Cool. Like you laugh at jingly keys. Exactly. So is that, is that a skunk? <laughs> that doesn't say nothing. <laughs> you are so easily amused, dude. It's not even fucking funny. Genuinely, his threshold and... for comedy is very low. And don't even try to turn the tables, Gary. No, you, you don't have friends that are laughing at us. I, I've we're, seen like we're the all publicly. 
I, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you're good. Go ahead. I was, I've, 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 I've seen debates with G-Man where he like, you know, he has a conversation with someone and they, like, you know, he asks them a serious question and they give a serious answer and he just fucking starts laughing for no goddamn reason. He's just so amused by the, you know, mere idea that someone would respond to something he had to say. Like, See, look at this. Crazy. Giotto, Giotto, Giotto had really something annoying. nice to say about I know. Gary. Uh, Giotto I mean, always has something nice to say about everyone. Giotto's such a dollar. nice guy. I mean, yeah. five uh, he gets a bad rap, you know. I mean, that's a that's one hell of a compliment. I mean, G-Man he's deep he, nine inches. Yeah, gagging there. I said something that's impressive. Nice. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, something to be proud of. I mean, I guess you know. I mean, sure, you, Yato's out there stealing lawns from everyone. You know, it's a thing. Yeah. But he, at lawns. least he can give a compliment. Right. See and and just think, you know, to hang your hat on. As fabulous as the nine inch thing is, it, you, you know that he's always working for more. I think his goal this month is twenty inches. And, uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, and oh, yeah, cumulative fucking Wilson. Yeah. G Man can piss straight napalm without crying. Two dollars from Wilson. G Man's trying to do, outdo Riley Reed, man, when it comes to sucking cock. You know? it's back to the <laughs> It'd probably have to burn that ad for him to go to the doctor. Yeah, at this that point girl can suck some so dick. <laughs> Sorry, is there, is there like a championship for that? There's got to be. Yeah, it's Should be. Yeah. Well, he's got a belt, yeah. so. There's wet t-shirt contest, mud wrestling Wait contest. There's got to be a dick side. I would, contest. I would love to see G-Man in a in a in a wet t-shirt contest. Why what? would it, Why would Ugh, it be? Why? No, no. I can't move His on from that. Aren't even that nice. Well, why they would... could be if they were all wet and everything. Why does <laughs> Grampy know who not? Riley Reed is? Fuck. Uh, because hey. who who doesn't who doesn't know who Riley Reed is? Yeah, she's fucking famous. Yeah. Like at this yeah, point, like, real mm. famous. Um, that see. girl's put more shit up her ass than <laughs> more than, than Grampy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Medacia C, two dollars New Zealand. G Man can pinch a land well. Bank, right? Oh my god, Medacia, thank you for the two. <laughs> I really wasn't thinking when I googled dick sucking contest. I probably should have been more specific because all yeah. I'm getting is porn. <laughs> <laughs> I I really got to think of some extra words to throw in there. Yeah, like uh, you want people. Yeah. You you want people Whoa. who are in it like not for the porn but for the sport. You know, like you want right. people who are like actually like trying to be achievers in that. Are, yeah, you're looking for people we? with style and people yeah. that have actually worked for it. You know, Form. The, the training. You know what I mean? Are, oh, we, um, are we opening up to, to, to the Olympics here? Or is there a possibility we could work? I don't that know, in? but with the Warren here, I'm sure he could be either a contestant and or a judge. Oh. So yeah, this work. is someone uh Chat, you're not gonna be happy winner. about who's coming up. It just ruined my ruined my night. Yeah, this is someone who I thought that we had uh, cleaned our hands of. Someone who I thought went, got off the internet, <sighs> got a real job, improved their goddamn life, and someone I don't really like talking about that much because he's weird and creepy. You but, know um, you didn't believe that. You know you didn't think that was the truth. I wanted to, but he, like he I had done one. so good for so long. Like even the Wern blog. Happen? No, okay. So the Wern blog. Uh, the Wern they, blog. Yeah, the archive and everything. They <laughs> even went on hiatus. Welcome back. I've missed you, Frank. I'm, I'm glad sorry. you took time for beat your wife. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Um, <laughs> I just couldn't. That help was my... great. <laughs> but any who's old, so yeah, yeah. the the entire archive for Wern, they were like, "Oh hey, Ooh. we need to take a break because Wern has a job. Wern is doing what he needs to do. Wern is on the up and up. He's fine." And then suddenly that changed, like two weeks later. Because he yeah, suddenly because- wasn't doing so great anymore and was hanging out with the outcast owls again. Frank's out here on the wow. fucking screen, MML. Uh, I feel bad. Someone didn't yeah, like right get here. What someone didn't get what we were doing. That's sad. Like, <laughs> he's right here on the screen. You don't see him? Look, look, I'm dude, Frank, Frank will be back eventually. I'm sorry. Like, don't Frank's worry. Frank's back. Be- Frank's back. Right here in the big box, right here yeah. in the middle. It's Frank. <laughs> Yeah, front and center. I don't know what you're confused about. Oh, he, uh, know, he even has long hair now, just like Frank. Yeah. <laughs> he's, got that, and, uh, he's got that open shirt trying to be all yeah. sexy. Yeah, yeah, what's up? What's up? Uh, yeah. Scientist Sam said, check really? your DMs. Oh, yeah, I shot him a link already. He'll, he'll probably be hey, Scientist now. Sam, one of your people. God, this is going to be bad. Oh, is no. Bad. Don't say that. Wait, what? Don't say it then. Don't say it then. You can't do me. this. Um, <laughs> what's this? 
Wilson, what is this? Ooh. Wilson, what is this? <laughs> what? I, Wilson, what is this? Right. What did Wilson do? Oh, I'm sorry, Sam. What are you, buddy? Grampy, what about one of my people? Okay, oh. you can say it. You know who Sydney Winston is? Oh, geez. He's not one of us. He's a South African. <laughs> yeah. Google God. Google God. No, God. One of us. us. Uh-oh. Sam's in a can again. I think we have an, we have an echo. echo. We oh, it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I forget. Um, I'm okay. gonna have to. Damn it, Anna! It I have to fix it again I... in a moment because I actually sent Wilson another. Somebody spank Anna. All right, we're at max capacity for tonight. Um, Wilson. But what's up? Wilson? Seven. Yeah, I'm, that's a number. That's a pretty good movie, actually. Yeah, we tend not to have more than this on. What's in the box? On the Devil's Lettuce usually. Right, what's in the yeah. box, man? Yeah. Oh, it's Anna. Oh, hi, Anna. Some people... Are you? Yeah. Uh, Oh, you're the uh, other person on the uh, geek room that only shows up sometimes. So, hey, what up? Hi. I mean, to be fair, Grampy, you only show up some of the time. Yeah, but I'm not on. I'm not on the fucking. Message. I'm not on the t-shirt. Even if know? Grampy's sure, yeah. here, even if he's here, he barely. He only shows, shows up Am some I of the really time. Am I really here, though, folks? <laughs> Man, they can't fit 87 people on a t-shirt. From a certain yeah. point of view. We're Doesn't mean you're not part on. of things. Well, I, you know, I, I have the, the Geek Room shirt, you know, the Geek Slut t-shirt. You know, I got yeah. Oh, with slut. the big cum stain in the middle? The shirt's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> no, that was milk. That was milk. That's what we told Seaspring to get across. Yeah, before. sure. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, of course. It was Anna, play what I sent you. I've had, I've, had, I've had people ask me, what is a Geek Slut? <laughs> <laughs> what is a Geek Slut? <laughs> well, I'd love oh, to. It's three guys and this chick that shows up on a podcast sometimes. <laughs> That's the geek spots, yeah. Hi, oh, Anna. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this up because uh, Wilson wants me to play something. Oh, are you gonna talk? Oh, I have, I have a feeling I know what it is. What I'm not on the t-shirt, Grampy Lobster Twenty. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, make that, that a t-shirt. The fuck is this? Jesus Christ! All right. Uh. Yeah, all right. Sorry, go. guys. My I forgot what we Wait, were talking what? about. Something about a racist Jew. Um. <laughs> yeah. So but, Wilson okay. wanted me to play this. Explain yourself, oh. Wilson. <laughs> uh, this is our new commercial for Abortions Are Us. All right. Oh, 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 oh God. Our commercial. Woo! <laughs> it's our. All right. Ooh. The chat, I just saw that. Oh, oh God. Certified hood class. Abortions Are Us. We're better than coat hangers, folks. Abortions Are Us. We're better than coat hangers. <laughs> That's all it is. Abortions Are Us. We're better than coat hangers. Folks. You're welcome, folks. Abortions folks. Are Us. We're better than code hangers. Oh, okay, you can stop it now. <laughs> no, this is the rest of the show. Abortions are us. We're better than code hangers. Abortions. Callie, don't destroy your bed. <laughs> Sorry, my dog is. No, not, not. We don't destroy you your know, bed. When you least expect it, I'm going to play that shit again. When you least fucking expect it, I'm going to play that shit again. It might be no. two weeks from now. It might be two minutes from now. But I'm gonna play no, that we don't destroy again. our bed. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Woo! All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's play a, let's play some, some riveting content. All right. What's up? What's up with Frank? Uh, uh yeah, so Frank got paid to do a shout out. Uh a reverse shout out for Shanny and Rev. It, the video's literally just called Nobody Likes Shanny and Rev. <laughs> Frank, you gotta buy some Beatus boots, bro. Oh my god, we can pay him to do that? Yep. Oh, I'm Apparently. so torn between him wanting to say things to shitty people that I don't like and not wanting to pay shitty person that I don't like. Well, oh, yeah, he's oh, like, oh Warner is that. way cheaper than Cameo. True, yeah. You could also pay him to shit talk himself. Oh. That actually does sound somewhat worth it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that might be there are worth good it. Christians out there that are genuinely nice. I want a money back guarantee, though. If I don't get a fucking chuckle out of it, then it's not worth the fucking money. People and aren't yeah. at all. I understand that. Uh, but Shani and Rev are not it. They've used their religion to justify things like racism, homophobia. Wait a minute. Transphobia. Things. I I don't like this. I'm having to agree with the I, word. Right I know. Now. Yeah. I'm really yeah. uncomfortable. I feel dirty. I feel I like I date don't, the chick. Don't I worry. Feel like I'm I'm dating my the chick. See, you no, but I'm going to disagree with that. I think that that's what G-Man does. I think Shani and Rev do all those horrible things because uh -uh. they just believe it. I don't think that they say their religion says that they should believe that. 
I they agree. Trash. I already I have that it as yeah. I know I do agree because I, I think fair, it's kind of a misnomer to attribute this to like yeah, to but it's the than, word you know. that's saying these words and I and yeah, but it I, feels I, dirty. It yeah, feels dirty because I, I can resonate with some of it. True, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, this is I just mean, as bad yeah, as agreeing with Brett Keen. I want to get yeah, like it's like it's like if you take a food recommendation from Cobes and it's good, you know. Yeah, it's good food. Let's not get crazy. You take a bite and you're like, hey, that is what's up. Uh, that is pretty yeah. goddamn thank. Apparently, we, uh, we have Shadow Links to thank for this uh, video. So, <laughs> thank you, I suppose. Oh, you paid for that? Well, you're, you know. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Hey, it helps with that clinker dagger, man. Yeah, that clinker dagger, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> I need a brand new pair of Betas boots. Jesus was notoriously silent on them. Definitely. <laughs> the doctor calls them my magic shoes. <laughs> They won't take me yeah. anywhere. They make the swelling. Really really no how racism was wrong when he accepted things like the Pharisees and other races other than Hebrew in his flock. While it's true he did say love thy neighbor, he also said to persecute the non-believer. So, dude, he's trying to be like intellectual and actually tear down Shani and the Rev. This is yeah, weird. this is when it's just like, oh, geez, you just should have shut up, you know. After yeah, you should have shut up while you had a good thing. I'll going. put it to you like this though. If if waking up, getting on the internet, and being talked down to in a way that's actually makes sense by Lucas Werner doesn't make you want to turn your life around, fuck true. nothing will. Oh, yeah, that's really true. Like, yeah, if that's not a wake up call, if if Rev, if Rev doesn't run after this shit, then he'll never fucking run. Let's be honest. The really ironic thing is that it, it's an actual homeless person talking down to two people <laughs> who are technically homeless. Yeah, technically just squatters. <laughs> yeah. So is this yeah, bum it. fights in 2022? Yeah, basically. Yes. Why, can't they, why can't they bring those back? Sure, there were some people that were manipulated, and there was some really <laughs> fucked up shit. <laughs> there might but have been a few deaths involved. Entertainment. Well, a few people died, but hey, it was entertainment, right? Yeah. It's not like it was no girls gone kid. wild. These were of age people that you know got a little hammered. I I mean, <laughs> it was a girl that went wild, but it's which species? <laughs> I'm with Grampy. We like fucking UFC fuck weight class. I want to see Brock Lesnar versus like a featherweight. Yeah, I want to. Oh, so you want to witness a murder? Yes. We want to see a murder sir, live in the we ring. We okay. watched what happens when you have no weight classes in the UFC. You saw that porn. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> ultimate fucking championship, but it really wasn't ultimate. Um, yeah, no, wait, wait, I got it. Wait, 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 give me a second. Underwhelming fucking catastrophe. There we go. UFC. Yeah, but you you still have fucking in there, and I don't think that actually happened. How do you know? It happened. Mm. I watched it. I ate a because I've seen it, Grampy. We know this. Porn. Oh, you were there when the cameras were on? Huh? No, I was watching it in Discord. Oh. It was a recording in progress. Oh, has examined this logically. I can't accept that like you're known to do. Now, a good Christian would accept me for who I am, and a bad Christian wouldn't because do not judge us, ye be judged. Oh, judge not. Oh, you know, Brand, this can't be Frank. He's offering too much commentary on the situation. Wait, says says the guy that judges chicks. Based upon if they're Gen Z or not, yeah, really, learn really <laughs> to be fair, they have to be in their 20s. So, uh, but uh, to, to counter that, and uh, I will say, um, the the Frank, the Frank vibe was kind of growing on me because I, I really just want to sue this guy all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, mm. no, I miss Frank. Oh, god, it just seems to me that Shani is a redneckification of what has happened to the religion that was supposed to be about peace, love, and I would not call Shani a redneck, she's, yeah, she's more white really trash, redneck. yeah, she's yeah. white trash, just That's straight up trash, yeah. There, there, it doesn't matter where cat. she's from. Uh, excuse me, please, please, please refrain so I from using that word. She's a oh, okay, I'm sorry, I, I, would, I prefer the term hut. I like a whopper hut. cat. Accurate and correct. She's uh -oh. sort of a Whoa. mega extra version of Roseanne Barr 
with <laughs> no, no. So don't inflate her ego like I that. I mean, oh. she like Rosa oh, somebody, and Bar has money and like somebody's a home. actually somebody's actually uh, Shani's right. actually done the video about somebody said sometime or I think Roseanne Barr apparently supposedly like the tweet she did or some shit or somebody said she I don't believe her. that it was Tom yeah. Arnold she paid him a cameo and I think it said something along the lines of that oh she you remind oh. me of my ex-wife and she got like a huge ego boost from that for whatever reason from what being called like someone's ex-wife I mean yeah no. hey, are you talking I about three are you okay. talking about the four thousand dollars that Rev spent on Shani's birthday for her fucking cameos Jesus can you imagine yeah. Right, like Jesus better oh come God. down his damn self and give me a cameo for four thousand dollars. You fucking kidding me? Yeah, and Jesus Jesus with that. I want I know you Easter you... candy when Jesus comes too, man. So I want like an hour long soliloquy, like from Gilbert Godfrey or some fucking bullshit. I, I was just gonna bring that up. Like I know you can't Rip. go back to her community chat, her community post because her channel got fucking deleted. Uh, when Gilbert Godfrey Thank died, you. she said, "Rest in rest in peace, Gilbert. Thanks for the cameo." What? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. No, Gilbert was saying thanks for the money. I mean, <laughs> like someone who like had that much fucking shit that he accomplished and like did that was entertaining, and you like the yeah. only thing you give a shit about is the one thing that like fueled your own ego. That's yeah. That's so that. much. I mean, like Gilbert Godfrey, that. like did the voice acting in an actual Disney movie. The closest that Shani can compare to is people compare her to Ursula. Yeah, I know. That's wow. Which yeah. I'm sorry is an insult to the best Disney Ursula. villain. Okay, oh, that's or a dying, really or dying land absolutely land unacceptable. I mean, with that hair. more redneck white trash, and Rev is sort of this bitch boy to whatever he wants <laughs> doesn't go because Shani has to approve of it. They also attack the Gina fucking word spitting facts. Yeah, I, mean, I don't a, like this. I, I really don't yeah. like this. Well, you know what though? He's just repeating what he's heard us say on our shows before. Like in between the segments of us talking about him, he's heard this like observation about Shannon and Reb. It's really basic bare bones shit. The really weird thing about this is if you did like a side by side comparison of this image of Warner next to like a today image of Rev, who do you think would be doing better in life? Definitely fucking I don't Lucas like Warner. difficult questions. <laughs> I mean, just off visuals alone. Off visuals alone, yeah. Lucas Werner like looks like he takes better care of himself. Like he looks like he has cleaner clothes. He looks like he he's actually washes eats. hair. It yeah, looks like he's yeah. you know trimmed up the facial hair a bit. And don't get any ideas, Lucas Werner. We're not trying to like give you any credit. We're just saying you well, look better than that fucking yeah, goblin. We, that we, is, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Lucas probably has running water at the homeless shelter. So true. Yeah. And and, and, and it's hot. hot. Yeah, and Shani and Rev like don't. Call from Hello? To accept. Hello. Oh, hello. I hope we're not too far off the topic. I'm just wondering um if anybody from the geek room does cameos. Um I mean we got not one. Very often. We, we, You're we, mistaking them with somebody famous. I, I mean, yeah, that would be the first uh, mishap. I mean, we got Sam here. Because I only listen to the Geek Room for, for Sam, because I'm also a Jew in Boston. So if Sam could do oh, you know, shit. a cameo for Oy vey. Julia, then, uh, That's a different kind of cameo. Oy vey, indeed. I, 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 uh, I can play the role of boyfriend that sneaks out in the middle of the night. I'm pretty good at that one. Pretty, well, pretty good. So, I thought that. Hmm. But I, I love when you talk about the Boston area, um, especially when somebody uh, comes on pretending to go to Harvard. I think you know who we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I have so many I Boston area thoughts. questions for him, but actually I still live in San Diego. Um, G-Man has, has doxed me as living in San Diego, so we're going to – that's where I live. Oh my god! Area. I bet I bet in San Diego. Then you probably live near Drive Side um, on the naval base. That's the only time I've been in San Diego. I oh, never want to go back. That's not true. Uh, Sam actually lives in Jefferson. Nah, Sam likes to whack it in San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even know what joke Grampy is. <laughs> 
Well, that's okay. Neither is well. Grampy. Yeah, cradle, like, cradle, cradle, I made you out of clay. What, <laughs> what the fuck, Warthog? What the fuck? Jeez. Wait, we got two dollars from someone just called racism. Yo, Sam, we still show on Saturday? <laughs> 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 you know it, racism. <laughs> Look, Sam just wants a ham sandwich without anybody giving him shit. You know what I mean? You're hanging out with racism Saturday, Sam? Yeah, you sure. Ev- evidently. I thought I was hanging out with an Asian chick, but evidently racism has. Oh, whoa. Huh? Maybe so. Let me guess you're getting Chinese. Why not both? Really, Wilson? Woo! Really? <laughs> oh shit, racism is here. The Jew and Chinese. Racism arrived early today. <laughs> yeah, here's, here's the question. If I eat Chinese, do I come back for seconds in 30 minutes? All right. <laughs> nah, it's, you, you, we can't get Billy to show up for a stream. You think he's going to do a cameo? <laughs> Yeah, no way. Yeah, there's no fucking way. He's an atheist, for no reason other than the fact that he's an atheist. Do you this think Billy could read a script for a cameo? Uh, thanks for calling in, by the way, to that person. I didn't get to say that. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's kind of like that's like drag not referencing sex during a stream. Like you're you're just asking for impossible tasks, good sir. Is this true, Sam? Going really, and really, and I don't think Jesus would really approve of a cross being displayed when he said to hold the Ten Commandments when iconography is against the Second Commandment. But all that aside, what was that word? Use the religion to be good people, I, or has it just been too long? That, did he I, did he mean to say idolatry? I have no idea what he's trying to say. He probably just looked into a fucking thesaurus and just picked a word out of there. I don't even think that was a word. I, I think he said iconography. Uh, I, if we could just take a take a moment here, uh, just off topic. Uh, Steve McRae, why don't you go fuck yourself, buddy? Okay. How about you cram it up your ass? Steve, is why are you in the chat yeah, the constantly way? bitching? Are you fucking kidding me? You don't have anything better to do, bro. <laughs> is Steve McRae is Steve McRae in the chat? He he's in the chat and he will not shut the fuck up. About is that the real Steve McRae? Is that Steve McRae? I don't give a shit who it is. I don't know. Uh, it's him or uh, not. If someone has a wrench in the chat, uh, go to their channel and see if it's really him. Yeah, I don't if think that's the real fucking deal. Is it, if it is <laughs> him, uh, congratulations on getting your fucking driver's license, you fucking nitwit. <laughs> I know, Christ. dude. How how the fuck old are you, man? Like, I know, like, 18-year-olds who aren't that excited about it. Are you kidding me? Fucking, what, do you want a pat on the back for doing what you should have done, like, 40 years ago? Fuck off. Jesus the fuck Christ. out of here. God damn it. Yeah, it's real simple. Don't be a moron in the chat room, people. That's <laughs> a honest, story for the age. I like really to be burp sometimes. So. Oh, shit. He does want attention. He's very sad. He's a very sad man with a very sad TV. No afterlife. If you want to come well, after me, age. fine. But remember, you're just you better to spend $50,000 to get a dead channel back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> can, can we talk about that for a second? The fact that he yeeted an Australian's marriage? He mm. did what cocaine couldn't do to Agrippa's marriages. <laughs> That's how it ends. What? What? Oh, like, why are we giving uh, cocaine a bad name, man? Jesus Christ, man. I know, what does cocaine had, ever do? I've actually had a conversation with Agrippa in Discord once, and he is a, a very pleasant person. He is. I've met, I have met Agrippa. He is uh, he's that person in real life. Did you do uh, massive amounts of cocaine with him? I'm not going to comment on what I did or didn't do in Rome, Yes. Okay? I would admit it. Hey, man, what yeah. <laughs> but I also have nothing to lose. Fuck you, Anna. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right. <laughs> we got more shit here. Uh, Jenny did a rant recently because she's really mad at the Amber Heard trial. Like really wait, wait a minute! You mean to tell me that one female abuser is mad at another female abuser? That <laughs> yeah, being raised with justice for once. Yeah. One female that shits in bed is mad at another female that shits in bed. <laughs> 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 it was I think the di- I think the, I feel like Amber Heard definitely moves faster though. You, you oh know yeah. What? You know what's crazy though? Yeah. Like they have the same disgusting personality, but Amber Heard gets away with so much more because she's hot. 
Like uh, that's kind of the way it works. Yep. Yeah. 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 That that just don't think it's bad because like I imagine how much Shani would get away with if she was actually like decent looking. Oh, for fuck. Uh, imagine if I was Rick Zilla. Could I say half the shit that I can say? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because nobody watches Rick Zilla. <laughs> no one will ever. <laughs> nobody <laughs> serious. Oh, nobody ever know. I was, gonna, I'm sorry. I, I was gonna make the joke that if Sam went live at fucking three o'clock in the morning my time, he might actually garner an audience. If Rick Zilla well, streams live in the wood, will anyone, anyone hear it? All right, let, let's see what she has to say because I'm very curious. I haven't actually listened to this yet. You know, it's really gross how the MSN is demonizing people with BPD right now because of Amber Heard. They they mention the the other parts of BPD, but the one thing they don't mention because it would actually put sympathy onto Amber Heard is BPD is caused. Amber Heard doesn't deserve any goddamn fucking sympathy for the shit that she got away with for, for years at this point. She's got away Dude, with she for took years. A shit on him in or on his bed. Like what? And that's not even like the she tip literally of the iceberg, did something man. that they joked about on Always Sunny. Like it's the mm -hmm. one of the most absurd comedies on TV, and they did an entire episode about somebody shitting in a bed, and she was like, "Game on!" Are you fucking kidding me with that shit? Fucking ridiculous! Come on, man. So she literally it's pooped. Okay, well, hey. No, no, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. Um. <clears throat> Yes, Grampy. She actually shit yeah. in his bed. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. a pic. There's a picture of it. Like if you Googled Amber Heard shit, you could probably find a picture because it was <laughs> like one of the exhibits in the trial. It's a bad move with a last name that rhymes with a turd, huh? Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's not I'm like saying, the way that Shani shits in bed to where like she just has to like sit and wallow in it like a fucking pig in a sty. I, I love she the sits shit. in the fucking futon mattress on the fucking floor. I was already calling her Amber Turd before that shit, and that just made it all the more fucking more convenient when I heard that news that she actually took a before shit. Before that so. shit. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even that uh, oh, 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 quick, 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 yeah. quick question for the panel. Quick question for the panel. What is this difference between uh, Shani for Christ and Amber Heard? Uh, attractiveness. Uh, uh, one of them that have actually been arrested for domestic violence. <laughs> 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 You ain't wrong. Yeah, yeah Shetty's uh, making this video because she thinks she's an ex. Childhood yeah, so trauma. The girl was a... Sorry? Do we think that she's doing this because she knows we're making that connection and she's trying to head us off at the pass? Or... Well, I wouldn't have made this connection unless she made a video about it. I wouldn't so... give her that much credit. Yeah, me neither. I wouldn't even compare her to Amber Heard I unless think... she made the comparison. You have a good point. Here's you have the a thing. Good point. At the end of the day... Shani is taking a popular topic and trying to make it about herself. Yeah, that's TikTok, what it boils down to. A, a new platform that tries to value like currentness and that type of shit. So right. she's trying yeah, to and drug overdoses, yeah. like those are at an all time high. Why doesn't she just take that? Oh, wait. Never mind. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> fucking golf clap, Sam. Jesus Christ. <laughs> These people right. even do fucking 10 second videos like this. this Nobody make a Foo Fighters joke. Nope. Nobody make a Foo Fighters joke. Nobody make a Foo Fighters joke. Should be used horrible as a child and then you demonize her as an adult for having problems with communicating with others she's shitting in the guy's bed come on she's shitting in the dude's <laughs> bed that's not how you communicate is that is that how you communicate no, that, no, no. i mean she, she that's not fair. like if, if if an adult like takes a shit in your bed that's definitely making a statement i don't I know what that fucking statement is <laughs> Danny is trying to get a shout out. Yeah. When when she shits in Rev's bed, that's her way of communicating to Rev that she needs to be wiped. Yeah. <laughs> this is my. Down. Pick me up. Yeah. I live on the bed. You sleep on the floor. Get the hose. <laughs> Go get me <laughs> Delta. Eight. Plastic sheets. <laughs> they have cooked, slept, and taken a shit on those sheets. All the same fucking sheets. That's fucking crazy to me. That rogue. Piece uh, of it, it, I mean, I wouldn't say what they've done. It, as cooking, they've heated shit up in an air fryer. They've attempted cooking and failed thoroughly. 
and being able to function right in society because of others. Well, how do you function in society and trust people and have decent relationships with people when the two people, i.e. your parents, destroyed your trust and your comfortability uh, in front of everyone? Comfortability? Comfortability. 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 Billy T. She's coming for Billy? Yeah. I know. I was thinking, Billy, run quick. <laughs> yeah, run, Billy, run. Uh, $2, Mr. Unite for the Children. The futon mattress has skid marks. Wide skid marks. Man, but Post uh, Mahomes is holding strong. That yep. that can't be the real Unite for, uh, Mr. Unite for the Children. Uh, his account got deleted. Oh, shit. Yeah, but isn't that also like a, a prelude to murder as well? Absolutely. So there, yeah. So someone reach out to Andrea Locke. No shit. Everyone around you and completely invalidated you as a person, as a child. Please tell me that MSM. Go fuck yourselves. And that's all. So now that Shani is like on TikTok, uh, are we taking bets on how fast it's going to be before she starts joining that whole like DID crowd? Uh, she'll get banned soon. Yeah. It I won't feel take like long. Don't... Yeah. I was I was reading the other day. There's a there was a uh, study done. The amount of people who get their literal news, you know, not local news, not, not drama news, but their fucking news, world news from TikTok. It, mm -hmm. it's, it's fucking crazy, you know. Uh, um, I'm so, so glad like... I'm old. You know, <laughs> old privilege. You dude. came to the wrong place. We abuse elders around here. Well, yeah, I'm... yeah. Haven't you heard? That's like the entire basis of this podcast. It's just like, fuck yeah, yeah. that's what we do, right? Um, Wait, this is a podcast. I thought it was a show. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> it's not a show. We're, we're not a show. We're not it's a show. It's a show for the people. Yeah, for the people. For the people. For the people. For the people. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, All I mean, right. to be fair, like Grampy could never be accused of you know attacking his elders because the the one person that he's always made fun of. Is what like five years younger than you? Oh, Von Helsing? Yeah, but he looks way yeah. older than him. So hey, he looks twenty years older than me. Come I make I, I fuck with Robin a lot. Robin Eaglesong because she's seventy five and I'm only sixty two. So I mean, Von looks ten years older than Lardo, and Lardo is ten years older than Von. He claims to be like three hundred years old. He looks it. Like yeah. Von looks worse than my dad did when he was in hospice and he was twenty years old. Yeah. Like no Von shit. Von looks like, worse than my, my father before my end. father just about died. You know, I mean Seriously. He looks, like literally it's yeah. it's unnerving. Von you know what? looks he worse than his father hilarious. now. Von Helton's ugly. Anyway. I, I caught that oh. shit, Wilson. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that goes without saying. Yeah, so I wanted to, like, uh, you know, give a little bit of a highlight, because uh, apparently X has been dealing with some shit. Um, I, I, I've i read through this multiple times. I don't know quite, like, what to, you know, get out of the wording here, but apparently I, it seems like she might be moving, like, the actual archivings, like, off, off this channel and, and, and somewhere else. What happened? Yeah, I saw that. What, she got demonetized. What happened? Yeah, what, yeah. happened? what happened? Uh, I, I heard somebody came back to YouTube after swearing that he would never come back again. Hi, Rev. Oh, right. yep. Oh, I see. Hmm. So they're already trying to pry their way back on the fucking YouTube. I don't know how they're gonna get fucking monetized. Like, but whatever. Well, he uh, can't get drunk. monetized, and neither can you. So. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the game plan now. That's fucking bullshit. Um. What I don't understand is Shani and Rev got three thousand dollars, you know, for their trip, and they had two million dollars when they got to uh, Pennsylvania. And yeah. nobody would give Von Helton anything. That's, That's why we're losing the info wars, folks. <laughs> a futon's yeah. a futon. Oh my god, mute. I love it. Thank you. I, I love the fact that Von Helton is that big of an idiot that thinks he's making money on Odyssey in their quotation marks cryptocurrency. Yeah. That's like me going, Yeah, I've got twenty six billion on Strike It Rich Casino. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It means a whole fucking lot. Um, but yeah, no, I just want to like you know go 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 check out you know X's channel, give her support, and uh, keep an eye on her community tab for any updates that happen with the archives. 
Most definitely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you're given to uh, Security Monitor Lizard and uh, Mango for their um, poor choice of eating Cobes food to raise money uh, yeah. for the Ukrainian people's uh, shooting. Why would you do that to yourself? Uh, because they're, they're people, the people that are making a very bad decision. Yeah. Go modest. Raise like, money. Eat, eat <laughs> some of Steve McRae's cooking. So Wait, Steve McRae yeah. does cooking videos? Well, he, I mean, he, he buys videos. those dollar lobster rolls. Oh, okay. That's he not cooking. That's just fucking being old. No, no. He, shit. he literally said he put a slice of bread with tomato sauce on it into a convection oven with some, like, pre-shredded mozzarella cheese and said that that was his homemade pizza. Yeah, I, mean, I, did, that, I did that when I was oh, six. He's a big boy. Microwave it. I'm pretty sure Shani did the same thing, but just microwaved it. So that's a step better than that. Yeah, but Shani's a ghetto skate. I did that shit when I was six, (laughs) but instead of bread, I used a fucking uh, English muffin. Yeah, like the Ninja Turtle cookbook. Yeah, toasted English muffin with a little bit of tomato sauce and a little bit of cheese. I can't believe I remember that, but that's that's a thing. That was a childhood memory you just brought back. God, kids were doing that before the fucking Ninja Turtles. So. Poor memory. Listen, I'm just saying that's when I learned it, okay? There weren't okay, any okay. Like, black so and white comics. Yeah, you, yeah, you gotta realize that, that Grampy, we learned this before like the Civil War wasn't just a historical explanation. Sure, we are right. Because I'm not a horrible... Yeah, like nobody was uh, doing telegraphs back then, so... Well, they were doing telegraphs. Ninja Turtle cookbook. Yeah, Drag's ancestors had equal rights when we were born. <laughs> Oh my or, god! Or or maybe security Wait, by a lizard. I'm pretty actually, sure they didn't. I'm. Pre- they, I mean, they still don't. So maybe oh. you're eating that food to punish yourself because you are a horrible racist. Oh shit! Wow, what a twist that would be. Mm, yeah. How so, you like to? Uh, I'm not a racist. I love shit. black people. In other words, crappy. You <laughs> oh. Oh man. I I, I love that fucking reupload of the geek room and Monty taking over. My yeah, that was great. Story. <laughs> Yeah, go watch that shit if you haven't already. There was an upload made recently. Oh, when Monty explains to Shane, like saying that, yeah, you're not a racist. You love black people, while saying that, yeah, I use the N word to trigger black people. That means you're fucking racist, you dumb fat cunt. Dude, we gotta get like Monty on like the met- the lettuce and shit more often. I feel like he'd do really well. Absolutely. Like, on these fans. He right? was way nicer than I could have been to her. Like, there's Monty no- will steal your wife from in all the white women in the room. Yeah, um, well, okay, like, first off, racist, Grampy. Uh, you assume that I only date white people. No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about Monty. <laughs> I love how I make the remark, and then it's like, it's like Grampy's skull is a fungo bat for just like, no, Sam said it? No, I don't know. <laughs> Man, if I wanted this I love kind you, of Grandpa. shit, I would have stayed married. What am I, Grampy, like, what am I going to do when I meet Abraham when I die? <laughs> uh i don't know you're pretty well fucked you know um i mean <laughs> you're gonna you, drop and... you, you might you might be able to get a new wardrobe before they uh you take the plunge into the lake of fire are you there's gonna, gonna be creatures, that... you know and sam's, gonna, be going, sam's oh. gonna throw that bag of jew gold <laughs> oh yeah my God. oh it's cute you think it's only a bag uh well, yeah. I didn't say how big the bag was. It That's might good. be a fucking bowling ball bag. It might be a fucking you know duffel sack. Well, see, Sam will be able to pay off Abraham, so he's probably not worried about it. Sam, what if I know you, you got die in, uh, duck money. I, I think you're gonna die, and Sand Dolphin and Metatron are gonna be there at the gates waiting for you. All right. All right. Well, that's pretty much. <laughs> So, right, yeah, so, we anyway, killed that. Joke. <laughs> Sam's gonna have his pockets full of Delta Eight and just throw it in the ground and run oh, through yeah. the gates. <laughs> or you know, a large sandwich, maybe. Early gates of Delta Eight. Red gets two bites. A good sandwich is always worth something. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's got to be a good sandwich. Oh, yeah, whatever the Delta charges. <laughs> what a good sandwich is worth. Damn. Warren's working on that currency. Don't you worry about it. All right, all right. So um, this is going to be a very short segment because I just want to highlight the type of like low-quality content that Lord of Patriarchy has been putting out lately. Um, this is I... literally a piece of content where he tries to not give any commentary or say anything. It's terrible. I skimmed through this the other day, and I just want to say um, fuck you for pulling this because this is 
This is cringe. We only like, watched it for like two minutes or something. Like, wait, wait, Lord of Patriarchy? I don't hope so. I thought Frank was back again. Uh, this is not Frank. This is that, not fucking Frank. Oh, Billy's here. That's messed up. Who uh, said we that? No, we can't. We can't keep. We can't <laughs> compare the two. Like, we can't do that. I wouldn't be the first. Yeah, yeah I can't compare the two. I'm pretty sure Lord of Patriarchy will eat vegetables. So. <laughs> yeah, but he'll probably. Yeah, never mind. He should yeah. review them. Yeah, yeah, yeah he'll, he'll read anything. It's been a long time since I've done one of these. And uh, get up. If he was like, <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see more of these, let me know in the. And he's, his hair is getting real bad. Comment section below. Uh, a try not to laugh challenge. <laughs> I was. My record. Well, I'm watching you, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, no, we don't eat the couch, dog. Start the streak up. Are you but... saying that to Lord of Patriarchy or your dog? I was going to say, when you started yes. saying that, I thought you were directing yeah. it in uh, and then it made sense. Or no, that. dog, eat the couch. Eat the couch. Eat all of it. <laughs> eat it. Uh, He's got plenty of money. Fuck him. You're, you're a good dog. You're a good dog. Uh, give me a second. Right. I want to see the dog. Yeah, Woo! give me a second. We're gonna see a yeah. Fuck. fuck yeah. Ow. All attention's on you, Sam. Don't disappoint. Ow, ow, ow. Show us those nipples, Sam. Come on. What? <laughs> Be a dirty boy. Aw. Uh, it's a dog. It's a dog. Oh, little baby. Oh. Fight him. Fight him. Rip his face off. Come on. She's, she's pretty crazy right now. Hey, that's a baby. What's yeah. That's a baby. Callie. Girl, that's what is she doing, dude? That's oh cute. God, that's she's so, so cute. Isa yeah. girl. Uh, she's a girl. So bad. She is a girl. It, please don't. Please tell me it's, it's the, the dog's name isn't Gavin. Man, that dog's no, adorable. Yeah. Callie. Okay. All right, I am Callie. What is it? Callie. Callie. That's my cat. Well, all I can think of is uh, uh, life of a free spirit when you say that. So my, my cat's <laughs> name is Callie. Thanks for showing off the popper. That was cute. That was yeah, so yeah, cute. She's like really crazy right Sam's now. Sam's a she's daddy. Got crazy zoom. Yeah, she's still a baby. She's yeah, got time. Yeah, to have the zooms a lot. Yeah. 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 All right. So from this point forward, I'm gonna double up the speed. We're gonna watch a little bit more of this. I just want to prove like he legit tries to stay to stone face throughout the entire thing. It's like the anti commentary. Like this is not transformative at all. I don't see how he's trying to get any fucking like subscribers out of it. Uh, also, if you'd like to select one video every month, uh, link to my Patreon is down below. Uh, that is the five dollar tier. I am trying to ramp up content creation. Don't do that. One dollar tier, but that's mainly where it's at. All right. Don't do that. <sighs> he takes a swig of his beer first, like he's about to do something like difficult. You Come mean on. piss water? Yeah. So is is <laughs> this Lord of Patriarchy? Yeah, he's covering Pawn Stars. He's watching a YouTube poop of Pawn Stars, not even the real Pawn Stars. Like, oh, that's why the little thing beforehand said Prawn Stars. Wait, he didn't even spell it right. It's YTP, but he's putting TYP. Yeah, uh, I think that's his attempt at being funny because the little thing before it said Prawn Stars, and it uh, was all misspelled. So I think that that's their way of like getting around it. Oh, okay. Yeah, like if if you just like do a review of like a. You know, History Channel, you know, synapses of a, a Pawn Stars episode, uh, you're probably going to get struck. Oh, yeah, definitely. I would be surprised if this gets monetized. Or if anyone even watches it, like, let me see the view count. Only, like, 140 people watch this of, like, he has how many subscribers? Like, 10K. This is another fucking G-Man situation, isn't it? Like... Oh my god. What do we got here? Sess, 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 saddle ass by Kevin Costner and Dances with Wolves. Dances with Kevin Costner and Dances with Saddles. Dances with Souls. This saddle is from Dances with Souls. It could be worth money. I mean, money, money. So it's not my tattoo set. This is not fucking funny. Like, this is not fucking no. funny. Who's this supposed to be funny to? Right. I, yeah, like, he, the entire point is he's not trying to make any commentary. He's not trying to have any fucking goddamn reaction at all. That's the entire point of the video. And I'm just like, why would you make a piece of content like this that's literally not meant to entertain anyone? I don't fucking get it for the fuck of all. Fucking Lord of uh, Patriarchies are real musculate. Oh, by the way, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. I gotta make that fucking t-shirt, dude. I just Bring it back. Uh, Grampy had to bounce. Thank you very much for uh, coming on, Grampy. I appreciate you. It's always nice to fucking have you on here, man. You're awesome. Yeah. Bye. Nice to see you, Grampy. Wow, so what was it?
satellite by talking to and dances with dancers. There's gotta be a lot of Kevin Costner shine here. <laughs> Just look at him, dude. He's not I saying feel a like goddamn thing. A stroke. Yeah, he's not saying a goddamn thing. Does he say anything? Like, does he even say anything at the end? Let me see. That's what I'm what I thought it was gonna be. I'm no, I'm he says Friends one thing at the very fucking end, like 45 seconds. Oh my god, dude. This is so, like, I, shit. I legit, like, used to watch Pawn Stars, like, way back when. Yeah. After yeah. I caught the episode, like, when a woman brought, like, she got, like, a brooch from her dead grandmother and was trying to get a, a couple hundred bucks for it. And, like, the bald dude was saying, like, I would love to give you, you know, $200 for this, but I can't. Uh, I'll give you $15,000 for it. Oh, wow. shit. Because it, it was made by Fabergé. Damn. Oh, damn. Yeah, he could have actually, like, tried to react to something, like, interesting and give his own unique commentary or have something to say, but he literally tried to not have a reaction to anything that he saw. Bro, anyway. this is a guy that reviews Skittles. Yeah, that's yeah. true, that's true. It was a try not to laugh, but then you watch something that wasn't funny. That's like doing a try not to laugh to, like, Schindler's List or something, man. Like, it wasn't <laughs> fucking, it was never going to be funny. That one yeah. is I'm easy saying. for me. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, first of all, horrifying. Second of all, Woo! that was the movie that popped into my head because I just saw uh, online that there were leggings, Schindler's List leggings, with I'm like sure a bunch are. of the main characters on them, including okay. the little girl in the red coat, and it was what? fucking horrifying. That is <laughs> Did your girlfriend make them? I'll be the first oh, one god. to say that you will never see me do a review of uh, Schindler's List where I'm not laughing. God damn it. <laughs> well, I right, forgot where I was. Dude. Coming soon, the bloody breakdown. Yeah, so, seriously. Um, so X uploaded something from someone who I'm not even familiar with. I don't know who the fuck this is. Maybe Bran can like enlighten me or someone in the chat can provide some fucking context. But there's apparently this person called like Letitia. 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 And she oh, has... yeah, I keep seeing XX posts about her. I don't know what the deal is. I think this was control. like the the BPD chick that Shani tried to connect with, to where like, uh, oh sorry. yeah, my parents were horrible to me. Like they tried me to act, you know, they tried to tell me to act right in school and you know bathe properly and you know clean my room. Whoa, what a bunch of fucking dictators! What the fuck? That that's sounds crazy. Nice. Yeah, that's fucking abuse. Uh, so I don't know. We might. Maybe this won't even fucking resonate with us, and we'll fucking drop it off after, like, two minutes. But I think we should take a little bit of a look and uh, see what the fuck this person's deal is. So, um, apparently, I've got some really interesting trolls after me. Ones that I've had blocked already and hidden from my channel. And I don't really even want to give them the, uh, what is that? The, the perk of of allowing like their names to get out there because their ma their names are ir irrelevant. The content on their their pages and their channels are actually really distorted. And she's going to proceed to like list all their fucking names, isn't she? And it displays their own mental illness because they're trying to bash other people and that's what I find kind of funny because a majority of people need to realize that uh Rickzilla says uh, Letitia's a mentally unstable woman who has a warrant uh who would, uh, who had, I assume it's, you just mean like who has a warrant for false rape accusations? That's crazy. That's actually fucking true. Whenever somebody's talking down to someone like that, it's because they are crazy in themselves. And it's unfortunate for them because, you know, all it does is display how insane you are. Um, so anytime anyone has anything to say about somebody, it's, it's their fault. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. You're accountable for your own fucking actions. And you'd understand that if you weren't fucking hanging around with people like Shani. Me. Yeah, that's Shani logic there. Talk down to me and talk about the fragments that they know about that I've disclosed. How fucking low down in the social circle do you have to be to actually entertain the idea of, like, talking to Shani or being on decent terms with her? Like, that's as low as you fucking get. You have to be uh, this person. I guess. And other people have publicized. All they do is publicize the negative content that I've, you know, uh, the negative things that I've done in my life. And I've, I've sought penance. Apparently you have not as an individual. Did and you put those things online? And overweight and you lost your teeth like you do. Seems like you're still fucking terminally online if that's the fucking case because... 
I don't know anyone else other than like you know, a full on fucking lol cow who makes these types of videos obsessively talking about their goddamn trolls all the fucking time. Like regular people, at least like the average fucking YouTuber, like if you've been on here long enough, you know how to fucking take an insult to the chin. You don't let it fucking control yourself because how could you with all the fucking shit that people say on the internet? It's such a massive fucking. I, I, I hate when people act like this shit. Like they're the one fucking person who's the most persecuted on this platform and no one else has to deal with this type of bullshit. Like everyone has to deal with it. Yeah, I literally don't understand people who fight over, like, who has the biggest trauma or who's in the most pain. Like, it's a fucking losing fight, man. Like, why do you want to be number one of that? Yeah, what their the Prussian fuck? Olympic shit, I fucking hate that. Shit. Yeah, it's fucking gross. That's why you hate me. That's why you're envious. That's why you can't deal with your own reality and you fall to the internet to give you that satisfaction and comfort that your mother didn't give you growing up. So I'm so that sounds like total fucking projection right there. Like, uh, didn't it? Yeah, I'm sorry, but like, where the Just fuck like, did that come from, man? A little specific, huh? Woo. Sorry, Pacific. I was hurt, and they actually. Oh right, my bad. Very truthful, and that's Oh, but I, I think it was a uh, mango who said it earlier. Like someone was trying to use the word like lawn, as in like referring to like you know the front of like a fucking house with like grass and all that shit. Right. I, I couldn't tell because like Chinese corrupted my brain. If they were just trying to use like the shanty version of fucking long, like uh, <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. That's why people will bash me. A lawn, lawn. They can a troll lawn, me. Lawn, eh? You know they can't troll me. You can say whatever you want, but um Okay, so we're done here then, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. I guess we're fucking done here. Right? <laughs> yeah, you're you're you clearly not upset that you have trolls and you're going to show how truly not upset you are about having trolls by making a video addressing said trolls that you are clearly not upset by. Yeah, I'll give this woman one more minute to fucking blow me away, but I'm not I'm not all that riveted yet. I'll be fucking honest, yeah. Is is that you know these people have nothing better to do with their lives. They are not offering any positive content. That's why they're jealous of my channel, because I offer nothing but positivity in that way. Oh, this is Girl, the first time you and this are. Is all negative. Like how are we gonna be jealous? We don't know none of us knew who the fuck you were. Yeah, I didn't know it's you so were until I turned this on this far. video. Yeah, this is definitely not a good first impression to make if this is just, you know, seeing this fucking lady for the first time. I'm sure many of our fucking viewers are just seeing this person for the first time. And like I said, I'm not impressed. I'm not even fucking interested that much. Uh, They're all just jealous haters. Display to people. Hello. Um, to display to people that um, it doesn't really get to me. Uh, people think that it does, uh, talking about it, but that's just it. I relay it so people can understand and avoid it. And that's um, why you're making a video about time and space and this at the gym. I don't yeah, know. in public, you had to take the time. Well, it is. Trolls are terrible. They're awful people. There's something wrong with them. And the fact that also there's so much... Um... Dude, all this Rick, positivity. What? She murdered puppies? Like, literally? Yeah, I've I've heard multiple people saying that in the chat that she's what, a puppy killer. What the Yeah, I, I, I've heard that this person is like... Uh, who, what was the name of the the chick that like trolled uh, Chris Chan, uh, Isabella Janky? Like, oh, levels. oh wow, Jesus, that's pretty bad. She's I ain't pretty talking bad. about your puppy killing ass. I don't give a fuck. Like, fuck that. Yeah, uh, no, thank you. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, Jesus. Oh boy. Well, <clears throat> um, I, I do have some other fucking shit, but we'll probably we'll probably save it for tomorrow on the lettuce. I think uh, I think we might call this a show. Uh, Especially concerning like some of the people on the panel did have to hop off. They had their own shit to go take care of, but uh Call it a show. Yeah, we're calling it a show for the people. So uh Yeah, um any any last things that uh any guys want to fucking say before we wrap this shit up? Uh Wilson, trash. Uh yeah, actually. I would like to promote uh probably my new favorite channel. Uh it is you know Captain Pollywog Vanderbeef. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love the name. I'm on board. Yeah, I'm on board. Uh, yeah. Imagine uh, what Boglum Chronicles or Bite Size Cobra does. Uh, they wrap it up into like minute and a half videos uh, covering Cyrax streams. Cool. All right. Yeah. Check it out. Hell yeah. 100 percent less dick. I'm on board. Hell yeah. All right, trash. Any last things know. you want to say before we wrap this shit up? 
Um, yeah, don't forget to uh, donate to uh, Mango and Security Matter Lizards fundraiser. Uh, if anyone could share a link in the chat, uh, if you could drop an XX a few bucks since she's demonetized and she's trying to fix that, fuck you, Rev. And um, yeah, uh, follow me on Instagram. Fuck it. Hell yeah. Yeah, I don't. I, if I have people harassing me on there, then I might actually fucking post something. So, hell yeah. Good stuff. Right. Thanks for having me. All right. Yeah. Nice to have you here. Thanks for coming by. All right. Um, Brian, feel free to say the last shit and then we'll wrap this shit up. So, the last shit. Um, yeah, the last shit. The last shit you all need to know is that this was a show and that <laughs> you can like the show, you can subscribe to the show. Uh, you can support the show, yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, it's a fucking show. <laughs> Fully um, stated, yeah, dude. Thousand dollars a month on Patreon, we'll get Billy D vegetables. Yeah, yeah dude, I want to see that, and uh, the private shows are worth it. So if y'all aren't, uh, you know, on board on Patreon, do that shit because it it would have been nice to have a private show this month. It would be. It really yeah. would be. Frank. Hey, Frank, you going to give us the logins to one of the fucking burner channels so we can do that? Oh, yeah. God, Wait a minute. Yeah, I forgot about that, didn't you? You goddamn bastard. <laughs> All right. Dude, good night, everybody. Stop, stop punching her in the face and give us the logins. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, just take, take, give her a break. <laughs>